Hello everybody, this is Tauntaun here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an old figure to show you which is the Human Lion's left foot from Transformer Dark of the Moon. This is a very old piece and I think with the upcoming of the studio series version of him, I think this figure deserves one last look to people before I put him onto the shelf and never... I mean I hardly ever gonna see him again. So here we have left foot and let's begin. First, let's have a look at left foot vehicle mode. This is a race car of a Chevrolet. As you can see, we have the logo over here. And I do not know a lot about race car because I do not watch it. But it seems to me that this is design is really dynamic. You got all these details over here. And I especially love the net here that is protecting the driver but also removing the weight of the car. Through our left foot, you can see that there's a lot of 42 over here, here, and here, which is all beautifully painted. And the paint lasts for 10 years, which is really impressive. And you got also got a bunch of brandings over here. You got Tums over here. You got Contourneller over here. I do not know that. You got Energy Zer over here, which is the battery brand. And you got Life Saw over here. See, all the same, and I really, I'm really impressed with this. You got a clear windshield with protecting ropes over here, and you can actually open out the doors because this is a human design. So to do that, you simply push it out. And as you can see, this is a really nice interior of the car. I'm gonna bring it closer for you can see. You got a steering wheel, and you got two seats, which is really nicely done, and you can fit. The human figures inside as well, so you just put him into this posing position, and yeah, this is my try. I always hate this because it's just always really hard to put figures into transformers. So they are just so stupid. But a lot of people think that it is cool. They have actually have a guy sitting in the car that can transform. Uh, this is pain in the ass. Uh -huh. And you get a guy sitting inside him, which is pretty cool. But I'm gonna leave him here for now. And the door is connected to this tab over here. So it's got this pick and it's tapped in. And the windshield can also lower down a little bit. But this joint over here, so you can actually have that height as usual, or you want to show the pilot. You have the option to actually bring this out and push it down so as you get to see uh, some of the pilot uh, this is a really cool vehicle mode I love how aerodynamic this design is and it stick to what is it and to compare this is the dog of him next to him in the vehicle mode and as you can see that is a rather a very nice scale I'm gonna bring in another records this is studio series roadbuster so yeah I mean the scaling is a little bit big. I think this is more of a masterpiece scale rather than a normal scale. But to top that, you have to compare them into the actual robot mode. I think the Human Alliance scale are more of a master movie masterpiece scale. That is it. And now let's get to transformation. First, open the door and remove the driver. And then open the other door as well. Lift up this two panel over here. And then flip out this panel. Then also split the front of the car like that. Moving to the back. Open up the upper section. Bring out these two tabs. And disengage with the seat. Do the same thing on the other side. And then at this section here, you can start bringing up, it's on the Z connection joint and rotate.
bring this whole section upwards to form the belly bring the ties together fold down the chairs and bring the arms out At this point, do the same thing, just bring the arms out. And you can start bringing the head out as well and bringing the belly up at this if you just see close enough you will have to connect this to hold the whole body together bring out the doors to form the other sides of the belly Moving down to the legs, you will want to bring out this section over here. And just simply rotate the whole waist like that. Then bring out the feet and bring in this guard to the sides. And then we want to bring this piece down to form the thighs. Onto the back, flip out the heels. And just bring up the head. And you can bring this two panel up like that. And to remove these two pieces over here to form his chest guard. And just shift the whole panel up. And you can bring this two panel down. And place this here. And we're done. After finish transforming left foot to his robot mode, I can say that this is a rather very tricky transform, yet satisfying. The result would be somewhat of a movie accurate figures with short legs and big fat stomach one thing i'm gonna notice notice is that i don't feel like i'm into the leg they're too skinny for me and talking about the scale and proportion of the body wise this leg will never hold that body it will collapse right away so i think the upcoming studio series version might fix this and at all he he is what he is and I just love that the fact that they try their best to recreate a movie accurate figures. At that time, at the, at the time of this guy's release, he's already a big hit because of the way he's proportioned. Because he is, I think, the first Transformer which have a humanoid proportion with a fast stomach, very American like, and that is his personality in the movie as well. And this is the Human Alliance left foot. As you can see, he got a very bulky aesthetic. I think this is the fact that they concept him due to the Honda character from Street Fighters as kind of a sumo fighter. Because as you can see here, he got a very big but hollow stomach. I hit this when I first saw him at this Human Alliance version. But I hope that the upcoming Studio Series version will fix this hollow -y problems. Also, otherwise than that, this is a toy from 9 years ago, so as a result, he lacks 
a lot of pins which is a shame because I think this is despite the hollow stomach this is still a good mode and they didn't bring him his justice as you can see here he still got all his details and stickers over here that number 42 as we turn around as you can see you still see the old that nice sticker details and as you can even the, I'm gonna bring him closer for you to see even the cut the door section here it got some kind of nest protecting instead of glasses this is a very realistic design and I just love it and he got some paint over here as well and if you focus it on the face I'm gonna bring try to zoom it for you guys over here and he got a gimmick which you can open up his head and flip out the glasses so he got his actual eyes I have panel light this a few years ago so this might be the most accurate looks to him his hand here are kind of like a cybernetic muscle strand I guess you see all the lines here but they form the seat let's open up and you get the seat section of the car and it moves in quite a few boring way here and he got in hands in particular the hands he got the thumbs here which is quite stuck and some fingers articulation over here and moving on around that you can see he has his two waters water wiping tools for the car but they also forms the gun if you put the humans in here as well accessory wise first there's his dog it's kind of a pit bull design dogs and I kind of like this despite the fact that it doesn't include in the transformation as you can see he got the open tongue out like this and I kind of like of this a few years ago so the dog has some kind of articulation via four joints and joints over here but I'm not gonna focus too much on him since this is a really quick review of the left foot since he's a very old toy and he came with a human figure he got a NASCAR NASCAR driver over here and you could put him on to the robot mode as well and to accomplish that you would want to bring down this over here this is his gun like that and the human figures can just actually pose it onto the rising arms poses and simply put it right here and there we go so we just simply sit on there like that and that would be it I kind of hate this because from this angle it might look really cool but if you turn him around you will see the human figure is actually hanging up on his stomach and it would feel weird for this two guy having this like this this is like they're having a donkey style or something which is really weird and you can start with the articulation first his head can move around 360 like that you cannot look up it's gonna stay like this because if you try to bring in the head gimmick, the arms over here can bend up like this, and you get a movable arm band over here, and also this elbow band. So all this, this is all the bands you're gonna get. You got a swivel over here. And actually, that is a double swivel, so that is kind of impressive. And his hand can move like this to form the sumo poses but this is upside down unfortunately all of this swivel but they cannot include a hand swivel which is a shame he got a waist swivel as well but that is really limited this leg can move all the way to out and if you flip this you can get a better kick and to the back as well, it's kind of, lim kind of limited due to all these flaps over here and here. He got a elbow, he got a knee, he's got a knee band, two knee band here yeah, to be precise. He got two knee band like this, and a swivel over here, and no pivot. Scale comparison wise, here we have left foot with Studio Series Optimus and Root Buster. So, judging from what I see, this is further enhance my theory that the actual 
human land, Redford is more suitable for displaying next to movie masterpiece because he should be on the size of Buster instead of s as Optimus. Here we have him next to Barricade and Optimus. So as you can see from this view here, he's more suited for the scaling because I think Redford is S, S on the height of Robuster and Robuster will be S on the height of Bumblebee so this will be a really good scale if they decide to make a movie masterpiece left foot which I can see in the far future and that will be it for today's guys I'll see you guys later and th this is a questioning would you guys interested if I do a tutorial of how you guys should be weathering your transformer gunpla etc to give them what somewhat of a real movie accurate I'm gonna do that video and upload it after this guy maybe and that will take some quite of some time of shooting because I'm not familiar with shooting videos from the angle of my eyes and let you guys see what I'm doing so that will take a while and before that that will be all for today give me a subscribe and like as follows on Instagram and if you feel like donating for me a coffee Get to my coffee and donate me a couple bucks for support and the upcoming series I'm, I'm gonna purchase and turn out.